today we're reading Charlie and the Aztecs. Charlie and the Aztecs. <laughs> so funny, right? Chapter 1. Mom, I finished my homework. Can I go out to play? Asked Charlie. All right, Carla. Just don't bring any more mud inside. Charlie always felt odd when Mom called her Carla. You see, everyone just called her Charlie. Charlie loved sports. She loved cricket. She loved basketball. Great job. She played football for the school team. I wish you were all our team, said a go goalie from, from another school. Charlie didn't know it yet, but she was going to need all her sports skills, skills very soon. Chapter 2. Charlie, Charlie's glass was studying the Aztecs. They were visiting a museum to learn how to how the Aztec people lived hundreds of years ago. The, mu the museum was filled with lots of interesting objects. Charlie's favorite object was a beautiful Aztec headdress with blue and red feathers from rainforest birds come along glass said mrs mr jones there's a lot more to see charlie stayed behind for a closer look charlie knew she shouldn't touch the headdress but she couldn't help herself carefully she picked it up and put it on her head. Suddenly, there was a flash of white. Charlie felt her head. The headdress had gone. She looked around. The whole museum had gone birds with blue and red feathers flew overhead in the sky. There were thick green bushes and tall trees all around Charlie. Where am I? she asked in wonder. She was in a forest, and and not just any forest. Peering through the bushes, Charlie could see a village, an Aztec village. But the Aztecs lived a hundred of years ago, said Charlie. That must mean I've traveled back in time. Just then, Charlie noticed a group of boys playing. One of the boys was pushing the others around. Are you new here? said a friendly voice behind her. Charlie turned. It was a girl about her age. Yes, she said. My name's Charlie. I'm, a, I'm Easel, replied the girl. Shh, I'm meant to be doing my chores but i couldn't stay inside any, any longer i know just how you feel said charlie grinning why is that boy being so mean to us being mean to the others charlie asked that's toto said easel he's the son of zolim our leader our leader Zolan is wise and kind, but says, but Sally Total is not. You've arrived. You've arrived on an important day. Easel went on once a year. We we hold a sports contest to find out which of the boys is the fittest. Don't the girls take part? That's silly. That's silly, said Charlie. I'd better get going, said Ethel. Mom needs me to collect fire, some firewood. Want to help? Charlie followed Ethel into the forest. Ethel was quick, and Charlie struggled to keep up. Hey, you're really fast, said Charlie said. You should enter that contest. I'm not allowed to enter, said Easel, picking up sticks and bits of wood. Anyway, it's not a real contest. The other boys always let Toto, Toto when he says Zolin will be cross, uh, cross if he loses. If Zolin is such a wise leader, 
He wouldn't want anyone winning if they didn't deserve to, said Charlie. Yes, but Toto is, is his son, said Easel. Come on, I'll race you back. Easel beat Charlie back to the village. You're quick. You're too quick for me," said Charlie, painting. They came to a line of boys who were waiting for the contest to begin. Charlie thought for just a moment and then joined the line. Chapter three. What are you doing, Charlie? Hissed Easel. You know, girls aren't allowed in the contest. No one has to know. I'm a girl," said Charlie, grinning. She grabbed a helmet to hide her hair. Easel told Charlie about the contest. It was an Aztec game called Yulama. You scored points by throwing a hard rubber ball. Through a stone ring, it was just the sort of a game that Charlie loved. The crowd cheered, cheered as their leader Zolin and entered the arena. He was wearing the same headdress that Charlie had tried on this on in the museum. Char Charlie started at the headdress. And she knew she knew she couldn't stay with the Aztecs forever. The headdress had brought her her, so maybe it could take her home. Zalin Zalin gave the signal signal for the contest to begin. Charlie watched the the other boys falling over trying. To to let Toto win, they looked so silly. Toto scored two goals. Finally, it was Charlie's turn. She ran fast and dodged past the boys. She threw her shot. Goal! The crowd cheered. Now she was just one point behind Toto. Charlie scored one. Toto scored as well. Charlie scored again. There's never been a game this close," yelled the crowd. Just then, Charlie heard the sound of a horn. Game over. It was a draw. The winner will be de decided by a tie tie break. Sad. Said Zolin, "You both get one shot." Toto went first. Toto went first. He missed. If Charlie scored, she would win. Please, Charlie, miss," said Easel under the breath, under her breath. Chapter four. Maybe I should let Toto win. Thought, thought Charlie as. She lined up her shot. No, she couldn't do that. Her ball flew straight through the ring. Charlie had won. The crowd cheered. Zolan stepped forward, looking stern. Suddenly, Charlie felt very scared. We've never seen a boy beat my son before. He said. He said. Well said, Charlie. Bravely, my name is Charlie, and I'm a girl. She took off her helmet. Girls aren't allowed to play," Sque screeched Toto. "It's against the rules. I win." Not so fast," said Solon calmly. Charlie won fair and square. She is the winner. He really, he really was a wise leader. Toto sulked. While Easel hugged Charlie next year, I'm going to enter. Easel said. The crowd cheered. I will greet. I will greet. Grant you one free one favor, Charlie," said Zolan.
Can I try on your headdress? asked Charlie. Zara looked puzzled, but smiled. He carefully handed Charlie the headdress. Thank you, she said. She put it on and crossed her fingers. Once again, there was a flash of light. Sorry, suddenly, Charlie was back in the museum. The headdress was back on its stand. Hurry up, Charlie, called Miss, Mr. Jones. I'm back. Everything's back. Just the way it was, said Charlie, looking around happily. Or maybe not, she said, spotting the pink on the wall. It, it showed easel, and she was playing Alba. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell over there. And then just, if you want me to do anything else, just, just write it in the comments. And bye-bye. Bye. Bye.